Here's your news in the go this morning. We're waiting to learn more about a reported shooting in the city of Syracuse this morning. Officers responding right around 2.15 a.m. at the corner of Otisco and Niagara Streets. Officers had the road blocked off for several hours as they went around with flashlights, searching the ground and inspecting a nearby house. We're unaware if anyone was hurt, but an ambulance was called to the scene. Well, in Oswego County, one person is dead after a crash in Volney yesterday morning. The sheriff's office saying just after 9 a.m., a driver went off the road on County Route 6, just south of New Haven. They were pronounced dead at the scene. The driver's identity, however, has not been released. But we are told that no one else was in the vehicle. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Well, the Cicero man accused of killing a Utica teen two weeks ago to the day is expected to be arraigned in Oneida County Court tomorrow. Investigators say 21-year-old Brandon Clark stabbed 17-year-old Bianca Devins to death and then posted photos of her body on social media. Clark being indicted on one count of second-degree murder. The Oneida County District Attorney says his office plans to prosecute the case to the fullest extent of the law. And shoppers at the Ithaca Wegmans will be the first ones to try out having no plastic bags at their store. Starting tomorrow, the grocery chain will be piloting its no plastic bag policy. The store will still have deli bags and ones for veggies, just no typical take-home plastic grocery bags. Back in April, Wegmans announced it would eliminate plastic bags at all of its New York stores. Ahead of the statewide ban, that takes effect on March, in March of 2020.